Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast and a game between Sonic versus Warchief Rich. We have Sonic spawning as the yellow night elf on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile on the top right we have Warchief Rich spawning as the red night elf. This is going to be a night elf versus night elf one on one matchup. As we are already looking at the altar of elders and ancients of war going down into play. It, what is this? The Wisp here from Sonic is actually uh, actually doing a little bit of scouting. Not exactly sure where he's planning on going with this um, Wisp here. And we do see the Altar of Elders, so it is going to be most likely a Demon Hunter versus Demon Hunter matchup as the Ancient of War is being constructed in a very forward position. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, this is not your typical location for creeping, even though this is a relatively easy 5-3-3 creep camp. Similar to the ones that you would see on Twisted Meadow, it will not give your starting hero level 2. However, we are going to be going into the Demon Hunter vs. Demon Hunter matchup that we all expected, as it is going to be a game of mana war, or mana burn, as the Wisp are now doing a little bit of scouting here. Now, one interesting um, fact is that this scouting wisp is most likely not gonna come up wait what is this oh he actually scouts this out so he knows exactly what's going on here the wisp actually scouts out this 533 creep camp meanwhile this wisp off over here does spot that the ancient of war is already training up archers a little bit of difference in terms of timing as we now see a moon well being placed in a very forward position as well Demon Hunter will take a little bit of extra time in order to get into position and with that a little bit of additional extra time it is going to allow him Sonic to actually try and creep that creep camp out a little bit later. Archer doing damage here as the Ancient of War is absorbing a lot of damage forcing two Wisp to try and do a little bit of defense. Now what is happening here an Archer is coming in from behind expecting to do some damage against these units here and is he actually going to try and steal this shot? No the mana burn was not expecting that unable to get the kill steal as the Demon Hunter is now going to go ahead and start the mana burn wars. All right, a quick ensnare onto an inch or an archer makes means that this archer will end up falling but at the hands of his of her own master there as the hero did end up winning this out. All right, let's take a look. It looks as though War Chief Rich is going to end up trading a scroll of town portal for uh, Ancient of War. Now, this is going to be extremely bad news as you already see War Chief Rich going to be forced to... Wait, no, wait. This is actually an, <coughs> an opponent's Ancient of War. So this Ancient of War being constructed is forcing the Demon Hunter to fall back. This Ancient of War has suffered a, a fair bit of damage, but it will be at about half life when we finally gar start seeing some archers getting into position. This Ancient of War now with fortified armor going to be very difficult to take out for this Demon Hunter as we are now already getting a good number of archers down here as well. All right, this Ancient of War now suffering a whole bunch of damage. There's some mana burns already going down. This Demon Hunter, however, really on the losing end here, cannot really engage easily. As you see, there are a whole bunch of archers, and what is going on here? The, um, the Demon Hunter has a Potion of Greater Healing, which is the only reason why he's still in this fight. All right, there's the Potion of Healing that we were expecting. There is a Shadow Meld on one archer as the Ancient of War now moves off to the north in order to regenerate some well hit points very easy play there meanwhile the demon hunter extremely low on hit points doesn't have that many moon wells back at home one moon well here two moon wells here which should bring him back up to at least half life maybe even three quarters as we now see the shadow melded archers perhaps going to be trying to make another bit of a play all right, Archer is now trying to run back down. You can see that the Demon Hunter is right here. There is a Shadow Meld, and it is going to be just in time as there goes the Archers. Archer getting revealed as there is a Wisp sitting at the Goblin Laboratory 
very smart play by Warchief Rich to actually get a Wisp into position at a very, very opportune time there. All right, Archers attempting to take down the Demon Hunter. The three Archers standing behind the Yellow Demon Hunter is going to give a little bit of a lead here, but is it going to be enough as a second Archer now comes in? All right, oh, the Demon Hunter down to 48 hit points, gets the Moonwell just in time. There's a Mana Burn, and the Demon Hunter now down to 20 hit points takes a fair bit of damage once more. Ancient of War now needs to engage against the Null Assassins. Demon Hunter has to be extremely careful as the Demon Hunter does not want to take any damage. Already down to 18 hit points. Needs to use a little bit of Moon Wells. Now coming back in perhaps for the kill as there is another Purge. Demon Hunter taking more damage again. Yes, down to 55 hit points. Picks up a Gloves of Haste and is that no Warding going to take down the Demon Hunter? No, it is not loses and shakes the aggro just in time as the no warden falls giving level two to the demon hunter of sonic level one demon hunter comes back around with boots of speed and circlet of nobility and i gotta say war chief rich has been handling all of these crazy tactics from sonic fairly well he is behind in level though but he does um, he doesn't feel that far behind in terms of overall gameplay He's going to be able to easily finish up this Ogre Warrior creep camp now as the Ogre Magi was taken down a, a long time ago, giving that potion of greater healing, which was instrumental in allowing Warchief Rich to avoid near certain death early on in the game. Demon Hunter, however, going to have a bit of problems as we can see that Sonic has pretty much drained all of his moon wells well before um, Nightfall. And if that is the case, you can see that Warchief Rich has a fair amount of Moonwells still available to him. With that said, that means that Warchief Rich is going to have a very, very strong time in the opening, um, opening Daybreak segments as my daughter walks up to me and is now giving me a little bit of a look. Hi, Evelyn. Hey, hi. Hey. All right, Ancient of War easily taken down by the archers as it was uprooted. Meanwhile, back around, you can see that Sonic is still playing this very, very strong creeping style of game. He's hoping to, I think he's just hoping to out level his opponent's hero. He knows that he has Huntresses as well, which is going to come as a little bit of a shock to Warchief Rich, unless he gets Dryads of his own. Dryads are very, very strong at taking down Huntresses as they do not have normal armor, meaning they are not going to be taking bonus damage from that unit. All right, in comes the Huntresses. There is a Naga Sea Witch as well. One quick ensnare onto one unsuspecting archer. There goes the archer already. There goes another archer. And Sonic is pretty much just cleaning things up here. You can take a look. Um, a little bit of bounce damage there. Archer is going to end up taking two shots from the Demon Hunter. But the Demon Hunter doesn't have Boots of Speed, surprisingly. Without Boots of Speed, this archer is going to make it all the way back home. And then some as he now hides behind this tree of eternity meanwhile back around naga sea which most likely got mana burned once if not twice already as the demon hunter quickly goes after the archer and those cold arrows really causing a little bit of a problem for that level two almost level three demon hunter demon hunter now coming back around this demon hunter of sonic is a little bit lower in level but still has a much stronger army presence war chief rich only sitting at 26 over 50 compared to 43 over 50 for Sonic. Sonic can pretty much just A move with this army and pretty much come out ahead now. Keeper of the Grove has been added. There is an Entangle and that Demon Hunter taking a lot of damage. Is the Demon Hunter going to be able to catch up? It does not look like it as the Keeper of the Grove does take a bit of a mana burn. All right, there's a potion of invulnerability as this Demon Hunter gets in, or entangled and oh my goodness, is it going to end up falling Wow, two critical misses by the Keeper of the Grove. And I must admit, that is absolutely lucky, lucky. In order to not have that Demon Hunter who was sub-20 life fall at the hands of a Keeper of the Grove. 15% evasion, just enough to uh, just shave off near certain death here. As the Dryads, Naga Sea Witch, now making it very difficult for that Demon Hunter to try and re-engage once more. Alright, Demon Hunter still low on hit points. Doesn't want to use a Moonstone as it perhaps helps his opponent as much as it does him. And 
and he does not want any of that. You can see the Naga Sea Witch now coming in at level 2. There's the Dryads, there's the Huntresses, there's the Archers that we were expecting. And with a Sentry Ward here as well, even Nightfall is not going to be that scary as the Keeper of the Grove is now back out on the field. Alright, are we going to see an Entangle? Demon Hunter now up to level 3. Naga Sea Witch in a little bit of trouble. Are we going to see an Entangle onto that? Oh, quickly abolished magic by the Dryads. Very smart play to uh, allow that Naga Sea Witch to now scoot away. All right, Keeper of the Grove taking a lot of damage from a Huntress, as that Huntress doesn't want anything to do with him. Meanwhile, the Naga Sea Witch may end up getting taken down. Oh, Staff of Preservation from the other side in order to save that near certain death Naga Sea Witch. Mana Burn now onto the Druid of the Claw, as we are looking at the Demon Hunter sitting at level 2, looking to finish off this Keeper of the Grove. Demon Hunter is rather low on hit points. A Huntress could perhaps... Oh, there's another Mana Burn. Keeper of the Grove down to 90 hit points. There is one more attack. One more may do it. And it looks like the Druid of the Claw goes down. But not at, but shortly after, the Keeper of the Grove goes down as well. Demon Hunter down to sub 200 hit points. And dropping with that slow poison. But his regeneration should start to kick in momentarily. Ancient Protector back in play. Does have the ability to throw those very gigantic piercing boulders very heavy damage especially towards those huntresses as the huntress end up gonna falling all right D demon hunter oh my goodness so many dodges the dodge chances seem so astronomically high as a couple of near certain deaths were clearly clearly avoided all right keeper of the grove is now back out on the field Poor, poor Huntress may end up falling. And yes, one Huntress does go down. Are we going to perhaps see another Huntress go down as well? And oh, the shot taken out by the Ancient Protector, meaning no experience. Dryads and Archers now coming in. Demon Hunter is still off over here, making sure that the Demon Hunter of Warchief Rich is not going to come back into play. And once this Altar of Elders goes down... I do believe that is pretty much going to be it. That Demon Hunter looking so strong. Getting off another Mana Burn. Preventing any sort of entanglement. As another Dryad has been taken. Or, excuse me, another Moonwell has been taken down. Alright, Keeper of the Grove looking to fend off the attack. Is it going to be uh, a very one-sided fight here? As the Keeper of the Grove gets in some two very quick attacks. The Moonwells are now starting to fill up once more. And the positioning on those moon walls are actually key to allow the demon hunter to stick around in this fight. A Druid of the Claw, very strong healing. Essentially, a Druid of the Claw, a lot of people like to compare them to level 1 paladins. They heal, they absorb damage, and they deal a fair amount as well. All very, very strong abilities for that Druid of the Claw. As we are now looking at Sonic finishing off Warchief Rich. A couple of very, very early dodges. The difference between victory and defeat there. As there you have it. There is the GG. A 10,000 score difference, apparently, between War Chief Rich and Sonic. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game one. Please stay tuned for game number two.